So I guess the best way to frame this is I think in the after this Mike Brown and Eric Gardner movement, there's been a lot of, there's been a magnifying glass on America's police departments for good reason. People are really trying to figure out what is going wrong, right? And one of these new methodologies used by police is called what we call jump outs. Um, some people call it smash and grab, same difference. Basically what happens is there'll be a group of young people, usually, you know, black and brown men, and, you know, out of nowhere, police and unmarked cars and unmarked vehicles sort of show up and just BAM! Yeah, just like that. You felt that? Did I scare you? Mm-hmm, that's what they do. Um, now, we've seen this in a lot of places. And, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, disappointingly enough, we're seeing it right here where we tape the Fowler Show in the District of Columbia. Now, I, I'm going to be, I will be 100% honest and frank. Out of most of the police forces in the country, I have a lot of respect for the DC Police Department and Chief Kath Lanier. Um, and full disclosure, I've worked with this police department before in, previous, in a previous life and I think they're great, but I do have a problem with this jump out strategy and how it happens, and this is a sort of explained in a first hand narrative, and the link is below, but pretty much, you know, 10 to 12 officers just appear out of nowhere, they frisk everybody down, next thing you know, people are in handcuffs, you're not really sure what the crime was, and, you know, it's pretty much over. And these are sort of what we would call in America, you know, very, 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 very militaristic and arbitrary uh, and reeking of racial disparity type of, you know, police actions. Now, um, there is a petition circulating in the District of Columbia to call the D.C. City Council to immediately take a stand against these type of tactics. And the, the link to this serve, this petition is below. But for a moment, I just want to take a second out to really have a conversation about this because I think all across this country you've seen a lot of people out there and you, they, you're hearing the same chants, FTP, F the racist ape-ass police, right? You're seeing this all across the country. People really feel as though there is a breakdown between the African-American community and the police departments. Now, I think we've got to fix this narrative, y'all. Now, I don't give, you could be black, blue, purple, orange, green, yellow, you know, turquoise, fuchsia, pink. You could be all of those. You could be gingham. I don't care what color you are. Clearly, there is a multi-ethnic movement, black, white, straight, gay, who are saying that there's a problem in this country. And it's not just one person saying it, it's not just happening in one city, this is happening all across America. And they're not only calling out like laws like stop and frisk, which thanks to Mayor de Blasio has already been sort of overhauled, but they're calling out the overuse of violence by police departments, they're calling out procedures like this jump out type of thing, and they're saying that we indeed have a problem when prosecutors are way too close to police officers. Now, I also like this president. Uh, well, I used to, let's be real. Um, I think that, you know, he's missed the mark on a lot of things. And to be honest with you, I think the president's call for body cameras, while it's admirable and respectable, what is it gonna do? What good is it gonna do if a prosecutor is not gonna prosecute those individuals who commit the crimes on the body cameras? Eric Gardner's death was caught on tape, America. 11 minutes of I can't breathe was caught on tape, yet still there was no indictment, right? America, the reason why we're in these situations to begin with is because of laws like this or cause of tactics like this jump out tactic. And I know there's a lot of folks out there who are like, oh, you know, you can't blame the police. We've got to work with the police including the police union, including folks like Joe Scarborough, or whatever. We, I don't think that the protesters are saying that we don't need to work with police. I think we all agree and we all understand that the job of the police is to protect and serve the community. The question becomes is when the police blur that line and they go from protecting and serving to pillaging and ruining the community. And that's what we see, that's what took place in Staten Island, New York. That's what took place in, uh, in Ferguson, Missouri. That's what took place in Cleveland, Ohio. When they blurred the line and they began to go from protecting and serving to pillaging and destroying communities. America, we have a big problem on our hands. And I think, you know, this is not something happening in Mississippi 
or happening in, you know, uh, you know, northern Florida, even though we've had stuff happening in northern Florida. This is happening in New York City. Okay, this is how these jump outs are happening in Chocolate City, Washington, D.C. America, we indeed have a problem on our hands. And the first thing that needs to happen is the, repli the police department needs to take a mirror and look in themselves. And two, the community and the police need to work together to fix it. We'll be right back after this break.